What up guys, I'm about to go train with my buddy Carlos, but in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how we literally went from scheduling three demos a month with our cold calling team to scheduling 30 demos a month just within the last 30 days. To break down August, we only had one SDR. There was no strategy in September. We hired three people, got our strategy down, got our quota numbers down. We're just getting better and better and better. So we 10 x our productivity and results. I'm just gonna break down how we did it. And this is exciting news. walk in about 10 days so yeah. I'm ready to just I'm gonna literally throw these things off like a freaking bridge somewhere I've been blowing through the money like you're growing trees I've been fucking on a French bitch say la vie I just put them on a jet now they all Italian way I'm dressed until I've been to a thousand dollars this bitch lie about getting shots but she's still a stallion she don't even get the joke but she's still smiling every night late night like I'm Jimmy Fallon one thing with living in South Florida is it's so damn hot and humid so when you work out you literally gotta bring a fucking beach towel in the car so you don't mess up the seats you know what I'm saying a lot of people ask me Stevie why are you building an outbound sales team when it's really hard cold calling and cold emailing and building that team. And there's three reasons why I'm doing it. Reason one, outbound cold calling, we don't have to rely on Facebook, Google ads, we don't have to rely on clients for referrals. It's literally a way for us to generate sales just by picking up the phone, calling, have a really good script, a really good email process, and just plucking the clients we want out there in the marketplace. Two, it's gonna make our company worth so much more knowing that we have a mature outbound sales team that's making up at least 25% of total sales, that's gonna look good on the evaluation of our company because we're more stable, we have more acquisition channels. And three, we are now able to generate an excess of 30 additional demos per month as of right now, just by building an outbound sales team. So it's gonna be that much easier for us to generate the number of demos we need to get to a million dollars a month. So just got home, about to get ready for my 10.30 sales meeting, but one hack I wanna share with you guys that's made a big difference just in this last two weeks in my morning routine is when I wake up, I completely avoid my phone for like the first 20 minutes, and I've been going on a walk for simply 10 minutes. And during those 10 minutes, I don't have music in, I don't have headphones on, I don't even have my phone. And the only thing I'm doing is I'm visualizing my goals and what we're about to accomplish in Digital Ox. I visualize my goals for my other companies. I visualize my fitness goals, and I just really look at everything that's important to me and where I'm trying to go and I just visualize it all happening on a simple 10 minute walk in the morning getting hydrated and it just primes me in a good attitude and it just gets me ready for success it's made a big difference between rolling over looking at emails looking at your phone and just starting off your day in a reactive state So I have three tips for you guys when it comes to cold calling, and this is what I've identified. Being successful with cold calling, first step, it all starts with the list. If your list is not good and it's unqualified and it's all over the place, you're gonna get terrible results. The first step in being successful in cold calling is make sure your list is scraped, you're actually qualified leads, and you're actually calling someone who's a great candidate for your agency. Step two, when you cold call, be direct, be personal, and don't be around the bush. Don't be someone trying to finesse your way into a demo and they're not really sure what the call's about. Just be straight up. This is us, this is what we do, this is the people we help. Do you wanna see how we do it? Pretty simple. People are gonna say yes, people are gonna say no, but at least you're direct in who you are and how you can help them. Number three, at minimum, the best goal for a cold call is to at least get an email. Get an email. You don't need to book a demo right there on the call. If you can get a qualified email, that's great. That's a huge win, because then we can start adding value through our personalized emails. Some tips for cold email. Cold email is very effective right now in our SDR team. We're getting a ton of bookings from that. Tip number one is keep the email short, compact, and direct. Tip number two, personalize the email. Don't look like a blasted email. Don't look like spam. Actually make it personalized in the subject line and then in the first line of the email so that it stands out. Tip number three, send several emails. All these business owners are busy as hell. They get so many emails. So they might not even know you sent them an email until the fifth, sixth email. So send multiple emails, follow up, be consistent, keep it short, be personal, and you're gonna start finding some 
some success. While I'm cooking my breakfast, I just wanna quickly bring up this YouTube comment because I think it was a great question. This guy says, gonna be honest, you don't come off as smart enough to scale an SMMA this large. Who's the real genius behind your scaling? One thing you guys gotta realize is we would be nowhere near where we're at today if I didn't have a team. The real genius behind the scaling is our entire team because without the team, we're nothing. I am not smart. <laughs> I actually had a 1.9 GPA in high school, barely graduated college, terrible at school, but I am street smart. I do believe I'm a good leader and I work super fucking hard. And I also have a lot of, just have an ability to build product well. I also know how important it is to hire the right people. So when I hire people, I hire them because they're gonna make me smarter. They're gonna bring value to the company. That's the real genius behind the scaling. It's good. This is Alex. Welcome Alex, guys. This is gonna be the squad. So we basically built out a team of three SDRs, Rochelle, we got you in the back end. Couldn't do it without you building a strong ass list for us. I was on closing, so the communication and the rhythm between this department needs to be strong as hell. Our goal now is 10 clients per month outbound. Bring the heat and get better every single day. If you were wanting to hear a call straight with the doc, this guy got booked. This is a good office, uh, Rochelle, so great job. And Alex, the reason why is for specific treatments within each niche we advertise in mm -hmm. that to showcase that it's the type of client we want. So what we do here is Rochelle puts in all this information and then we'll put a lead quality score from zero, zero to 10 and then mm -hmm. why. So then when you guys call, you already know, okay, boom, he does all the above. This is a great fit. Let's go. Hey, I've heard this part of you Just to keep it brief, what we do, we we handle everything until they get to your clinic. I can also shoot over an email with a little more info. I find you do that. Do you guys do any artificial intelligence? No. At the moment, we do not. We're 100% human based. Yeah, take care. Boom. Great call. I think the AI question was a trick question. If you were like, yeah, we do AI, you'd probably be like, you're like one of those other people who just say AI, AI but it's really just automation. When he kind of was like, yeah, yeah, send me the email information first, there was probably a little bit of skepticism. So as a little flex, I would just say, yeah, I'll send you the email, you can know about us. Overall, we have over 170 clinics in the United States, highest retention rate in the industry. We're one of the fastest growing companies on the Inc. 5000 last year. Now, he might check the email, but if you delivered it with that level of confidence and you hit on number of clinics we had, credibility, best retention in the industry, fastest growing companies, Inc. 5000, there's just more weight on the appointment now. Sweet, but overall, this is great. I think we're gonna close them for sure. So there's a lot of momentum right now in the sales team, but I wanna explain to you guys what happened between August versus September. In August, we only scheduled three demos. In September, we booked 27 demos. That's literally almost a 10X in, X in results. Just to break down August, we only had one SDR. There was no strategy. We were all over the place. We had no quota. We weren't even tracking like a minimum threshold of calls you needed to make. Our meetings were very inconsistent. Maybe we met one to twice, one to two times a week. It was just like we were winging it. We put a bunch of leads in his pipeline, just had call them and book demos. And let's meet twice a week listen to some calls and just see what happens. Now, that wasn't working. We did three months of that with very mediocre, poor results of getting three to five demos a month, maybe one close from that. After listening to Alex Ramosi's outbound section in, in his new leads book, he totally put some perspective into place and I knew we needed to tighten shit up and get serious. In September, we hired two additional SDRs, Parker who started the 7th of September and we hired Alex who started the 19th of September, literally 10 days ago. So we have three SDRs now. We built a very clear strategy on how we were gonna execute the phone call in terms of the script and what our cold email strategy was going to be. We had a minimum quota of 100 touch points every single day. Now we're tracking quota and touch points. So now we have our guys doing a minimum of 300 touch points a day. Instead of giving them a shit ton of leads in the pipeline, we put 75 leads in their pipeline. And so in that week, each lead is getting contacted anywhere from seven to 10 times during that week. So those 75 leads, we're basically hitting them really hard and finding exactly which one of out of those leads are the ones who are interested, which has been super effective. And the biggest win is we have a daily meeting huddle, a meeting structure every single day at 1030. We meet together, we go over quota, then we're gonna play cold calls to understand what's working, what's not, identifying our wins. Then we're reviewing cold email strategy, looking at all the emails that are getting responses, fine tuning the cold email strategy. Through this process of going over quota, going over calls, going over wins, going over cold email, we're fine tuning our process. Everyone's getting more intelligent. We're figuring it out. 
and we're building a lot of momentum into understanding what's working and what's not. In October, our goal is to close a minimum of 10 new clients with our SDR team. This month we closed four, which was basically 25% of total sales. Yeah guys, I think the big win here is in August, we were all over the place, lazy, my management was terrible, I was focused on other things, just being unorganized. In September, we got real serious. We hired three people, we got our strategy down, we got our quota numbers down, we got our meeting rhythm down, and through the meetings, we're just getting better and better and better, fine tuning, we're coming after 10, closes a month, pretty soon. Straight, long, when you're hitting, you're staying there too long. I want you as quick as you hit it out, as quick as you want those hands to come right back, okay? When you start doing that, you gotta think you're longer than him, right? Touch him, come right back. Make sure he doesn't touch you. Move, use your legs. Your legs are moving really good. Two, one, go. Nice. Very good. Good. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Hands up. Jab, jab, jab. There it is. Good low high seed. First two rounds, we weren't seeing anything. We were hiding it. We were disguising it. That's boxing. Nice and relaxed. Wow. Shooting the shot. You doing low highs and stuff? Nice. Makes me very happy. That's it. Really good. So this is a Black Sheep Agency student spotlight. This is a shout out to Ryan, who's literally been with us for three weeks and is already almost approaching 19K a month. And he posted in our group, if you do what's required on a daily basis, you will not lose. This is a high stress environment. If I slow down, this will pop. You need to commit completely. Love it. What works for us is I don't care if the call is coming from Facebook ads. I don't care if it's a cold call, cold email referral, it doesn't matter. That first phone call, it's not even a phone call, it's a Zoom call. It starts first with the qualification side of the call. Great to have you on. What I wanna do is just understand your business a little bit more. I just wanna ask you a few questions, get straight to it, and then if we think it's a good fit, we can move on, and I'll show you exactly how we get results. Then I just get my questions down. I'm asking my questions, qualifying questions, just to understand is this person even qualified to work with us? And then we go to the demo. All the demo is me sharing my screen, now I'm on the pitch deck. People can ask us all the time, how much is it, tell me what it is, da 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 da. But the percentage of those guys who are like really adamant and almost like a dick would say, look, I don't even know who you are and what you need, so I'm not gonna just present you all these different products and services that we have and waste my time or yours. I'll just be straight up honest with people. Oh, fine, I'm leaving. Okay, dip, leave. We'll get to the point through working on this several, several times where you don't even really run into those problems anymore. I've been exactly in your shoes where just since starting out in sales, a lot to take in, right? You're talking to other professionals. Some of them are rude, some of them are chill, all up in between. The faster you do your repetitions and learn from every call, like every single call you need to get better. 